It's day five of the protest by Madras High Court advocates to bring in Tamil as the court language. A section of the High Court Advocates Association called on Chief Justice M. Y. Iqbal and demanded unconditional release of the advocates who were imprisoned for, for going on, an, on a hunger strike to make Tamil court language of the Madras High Court. Chief Justice told uh, the five-member com uh, committee of advocates that he would consider their release if they can give an undertaking that they would not protest inside the High Court premises. While the advocates demanded that the first bench issue a circular allowing the protest to go on, Justice Iqbal maintained that he would not oppose the use of Tamil language per se inside the High Court but would uh, not be able to issue a circular to that effect. As the standoff between the bench and the bar continue over holding protests inside the court premises, a section of the advocates have now decided to continue protests on Tuesday. To tune them to make it as official language, we are fighting for it and we will do it unless otherwise it declares to be or within the short span of time it will be done. The assurance from the categorical communique or information from the either from the law ministry or from the, the person who is responsible for doing it, they have to give it. Otherwise, we won't withdraw this agitation. Well, it's an argument that they want to win at any cost. With the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's pet project, the World Tamil Conference, uh, likely to take off tomorrow, the opposition parties in the state, especially the AIADMK, is organizing protests across Tamil Nadu, advocating the lawyer's cause. Amma has given her full support to make Tamil a court language inside the Madras High Court. The AIA DMK's allies MDMK and CPI have also joined the statewide protest. A mass protest across 45 towns and a request to the president herself to make Tamil the court language in the Madras High Court. That's the AIA DMK's plan of action as the DMK-led government goes all out to make the world classical Tamil conference a huge affair. The opposition party has called for a boycott of this event. Amma has taken the task of writing to President Patil herself even as a contingent of her MPs met the president today. Tamil Nadu chief minister is celebrating himself as he is the champion cause for the Tamil language. But he has not taken any effort to see that the, the Tamil can be used as a language of Madras High Court. But the present government is not at all doing anything. That is why our leader, Honorable Amma, has taken all the efforts and she is taking the many actions to see that Tamil must be given a prominent, proper importance in all fields, including that Tamil must be made as the language of Madras High Court. The protest may well try to take the sheen out of the 300 crore rupee five-day World Tamil Meet, but the government is bent on making it a big success. In Chennai with Peer Mohammed, this is Ashmit Kumar for NDTV Hindu. The government finance college in Vepari is back in the eye of storm. A postgraduate first-year student, Shashi Kumar, was found dead under mysterious circumstances in the campus today. The police have ruled out any foul play and say that it was a clear case of suicide. However, the students are up in arms and now demand the arrest of college authorities. Shabbi Rehmas reports. It was a rude shock for the government fine arts college students as they witnessed these images of a student hanging at their campus. The prolonged standoff between the students and the college authorities seem to have finally resulted in this mysterious death. Shashi Kumar's friends say he was depressed as the college management prevented him from attending the World Classical Tamil Conference. Now angry students suspect foul play. Shashi Kumar was directly involved in a tug of war with his principal. He is also believed to have been a part of the group that vandalized the college principal's car. Since then, all is not well on the campus of this reputed institution. The students blamed that their principal Manoharan of being biased and demanded his sacking. 
However, the government appointed a one-man commission to look into the unrest prevailing at the college campus. As the panel inquiry is underway, the news of Shashi Kumar's death has shocked many. Shashi Kumar has also left this suicide note. There is no, no doubt about his death. He has committed to suicide. And he has uh, spoken about uh, uh, conserving the energy and uh, it's about the trees, conserving trees. And it's, he has given a general thought about it. Nothing uh, specific. As usual, the college authorities are tight-lipped over the incident. And the ongoing examination is once again postponed indefinitely. For a very long time, the students of this reputed institution have been demanding the state government's intervention to resolve the standoff between the students and the college authorities. But the government did not heed their demand. And when it did intervene, it looks like it was too little and too late. In Chennai, with camera person Manoj, Shabir Ahmed for NDTV Hindu. From one shocking report to another, you've heard of massage parlors and what if you came to know that a brothel was actually operating inside that massage parlor. But Shabir, my colleague uh, who reports crime, is now saying uh, out of this report that actually it is a mobile prostitution racket that seems to have been rocking the city of Chennai for quite some time. 20 people have been arrested in 24 hours in just related to this very racket. And the police say that the recent death of a Telugu serial actress at a resort in the city has triggered off the hunt for the flesh trade racket. And Salim has more. These five men were the latest catch in the police's dragnet. Seven women who were arrested alongside were sent to the rehabilitation home in Mylapur while the men are lodged at the Purel prison. Their modus operandi, bring in girls from places across the country, take them in a car to a crowded area, exchange them for money for a fixed duration and take them back home. The girls are paid not less than 10,000 rupees a day. Acting on a tip of police teams sent a decoy and nabbed the gang. The pimps were booked under sections of the Immoral Trafficking Prohibition Act. Mobile phones and cars were confiscated. On Saturday, two Manipuri girls and two Nepali girls who were employees of a massage parlor but were allegedly indulging in sex work were rescued and sent to a government home in Mylapur. The police said that 3,000 rupees to 5,000 rupees was charged for different types of services at this parlor. The police say that the crackdown will intensify in the coming days. In Chennai, Salim for NDTV Hindu. Scores of street vendors in Tambaram staged a protest today in front of the municipality. They demanded that the authorities reinstate their shops on the street or provide them an alternative livelihood. Baskar's situation directly contradicts the National Urban Street Vendors Policy that was passed in the year 2006. The policy clearly states that state government should provide and promote a supportive environment to street vendors. Baskar is not alone. The Tamra Municipal Corporation went on an evacuation drive on Saturday. I'm standing right now at the Shanmuga Street and it's these shops that you can see behind me that have been here for almost 40 years that were evacuated by the corporation day before yesterday. The protesting street vendors, many of them evacuated, submitted a plea to the Municipal Commissioner demanding an alternative. Sanmuga Road lerk ko kudiye biyabari ke lke Chennai weer nidi mandat lae vada kiri kire de. Avar galay appara padta kuda de. Avar galay ke matre adang kudu kamal appara padta kuda de. Authorities off the record say that the evacuation drive was to ease congestion, but there is no word yet on if and when there will be an alternate space for these vendors. In Chennai, Pratik Sharam Kumar, NDTV Hindu. When does they literally on the roadside? We take a short break now, but find out why Sneha is trying to sprint really fast because she wants to chase criminals. Find out why.